Well, they're planning a big parade tonight in Denver following the Broncos, Broncos Super Bowl victory over the Carolina Panthers. 111.9 million people watched the game, making it the third most watched U.S. program ever. CBS4 sports anchor Mike Cuno is here now with a look back at the big night. Hi, Mike. Hey, Ruta Bay, the big night turned into a big shocker. The Panthers were clear favorites to win Super Bowl 50, but Cam Newton and the Panthers get punched right in the mouth by Denver's defense, setting Carolina's QB up for an offseason full of criticism. And the Denver Broncos have taken Super Bowl 50. Denver's third Super Bowl in franchise history was brought to you by a stingy defense. And here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone. Von Miller's pair of strip sacks sucked the life out of Cam Newton and the Panthers. Less dabbing, more disbelief. The NFL MVP couldn't stomach the postgame press conference, sitting within an earshot of the celebrating Broncos. Uh, yeah, it's got to be real tough for everybody. Denver's game plan worked to perfection, corralling the explosive Panthers offense, holding them to just 10 points in the biggest game. We, we got the best defense in the NFL, and we knew they coming into the game, and we knew a lot of people doubt us. The game plan was very simple. Can you play man to man, load the box, and force Cam Newton to throw? And that's what we did, man, and uh, we was able to shut him down. Von Miller was walking kryptonite, turning Carolina's Superman into a mere mortal. He walks away with Super Bowl MVP honors in a contract year. And as they say, timing is everything. Looks like you made yourself a lot of money last night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, the, Super, the Super Bowl, the MVP is special, but um, the, the Super Bowl ring is something that I keep with me for the rest of my life. Um, I'll be able to be with my brothers for it. You know, eternity. Future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning held the Lombardi Trophy for the second time in his career, but would it be the last rodeo? So Peyton, is this your final game for your career? You know, I'll take some time to reflect. I got a couple of priorities first. I want to go kiss my wife and my kids. I want to go, you know, hug my family. I'm going to drink a lot of Budweiser tonight, Tracy. Dropping endorsements like a true pro, Peyton Manning still hasn't announced whether or not he'll retire, but with last night's win, he became the first starting quarterback to win Super Bowls for two different teams. Rick, back to you. All right. Well, thank you, Mike. And you can log on to our website to check out our Super Bowl blog, photo gallery, and all things related to the big game. We have a complete Super Bowl 50 section on CBSMiami.com.